Okay guys, so it is like 1.30 in the afternoon. Literally, I have eaten nothing today. Um, sorry, that's a lie. I can't seem to kick the coffee, so I had a small glass of coffee, which is a huge improvement because I was drinking a coffee every time I was thirsty before, so I, I could drink up to like six, seven coffees a day, which is crazy because I used to not drink coffee at all because of my anxiety, and then suddenly I just became addicted to an obscene amount of coffee. I just finished making my green smoothie for lunch, I suppose you'd call it. I'm running low on produce, as I said before, so I'm just kind of at the point where I'm taking all the scraps of produce that I have left and throwing them together and hoping it tastes good. Um, so this is the one that I made today that I just showed you, and it's very, very green compared to yesterday's even. Um, was it yesterday's? No, the day before. Sorry, I didn't actually film yesterday at all. I got a few pictures and a couple things, but I was just so tired. Um, I did juice all day yesterday. I basically repeated the same recipes that I used the day before with a few um, little changes to a couple things. Other than that, it, it has been pretty smooth. I haven't been extremely hungry, but yesterday I was a little, I was pretty tired. Also, the thing that's contributing to me being so tired is kids went back to school yesterday so my sleeping patterns are now kind of trying to get back to normal and we have to get up extra early and then all that stuff in the morning so um, that's probably why I haven't been that hungry in the morning I'm not used to like being up and active at that point so um, not that I I never really was a breakfast person anyways so it's not unusual that I wouldn't eat right in the morning uh, my calorie intake has been pretty low and not intentionally. I'm not trying to starve myself I'm just trying to listen to my body and if I am hungry then I'm going to make a smoothie and if I'm not then I'm not right, Yesterday I actually had an avocado mid like afternoon. I was trying to I was thinking I'm gonna fall off the wagon so I better just eat an avocado I'm not even considering it falling off the wagon. I shouldn't even term it in a negative way at all because I'm actually ingesting 100% more nutrients than I was prior to doing this. So uh, in no way is anything that I'm going to do is a fail, especially not eating an avocado, so I'm not even going to deem it as a fail. As my nutrition intake gets greater and I start to um, you know, crave the veggies and crave the fruits, um, I will be more apt to be successful in an immediate immediate juice fast. Um, it's expected that I wouldn't be like as good as those people that can do like 21 day, 120 day juice fasts or juice feasts. Um, but I think I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I was eating very, very poorly. Anyways, let's test uh, the smoothie. Um, it smells pretty strong. I can smell a little bit of the apple. Let's see. It's a little bit bitter, but I can do this. Um, oh, I ran out of lemons, which would have decreased the bitterness, but this isn't that bad. And this isn't foam actually, that's empty. There's a lot of foam off of the juicer today. It's good. I don't know if you guys are doing anything like this. Like, are you guys doing any juice feasts or dieting? I'm not, I don't even like that word, but you know, diet changes. Um, if you are, let me know below what you're doing or what's helped you with cravings and, um, or even if you have a channel that you do feasting or fasting on that you have some pointers or whatever, just post it below so that I can go check it out and maybe get some, you know, inspiration to keep me on track. Uh, so far I don't really feel that pulled, except for that first day where I kind of feel like I wasn't really ready, and so, I don't know. I think I'm doing pretty good. Also, I have been drinking a lot of water, so this morning I drank a lot of water uh, leading up, so I wasn't, that's probably why I wasn't that hungry either. But I'll see you guys at dinner time. I think I'm just gonna try to scrounge up the rest of the snacks, or the, the snacks, see? the scraps that I have in the fridge and see if that tastes good. So, I'll see you then.
juices. <laughs> I'm going to stir it together. I don't know what this is going to taste like because I'm running low on produce now. I have to go shopping, so I'm just improvising and mixing things together. <laughs> Let's see. So I went and picked the kids up from school and then I went shopping and I got a few things because earlier I had nothing um, so that I could continue juicing tomorrow. Um, what have I eaten since you guys saw me last? I think I just had water. Um, I did um, eat a couple of grapes, not gonna lie. So I got a bunch of things. I got some um, organic sweet potatoes. I, I don't know if you can make smoothies with this or not, but we're gonna try. Some organic lemons, some oranges, celery. I have uh, two bags of organic apples, a cucumber, some more carrots. I also grabbed some bananas, grapefruits. Um, I don't know if I said that, did I say that already? Grapefruits, I haven't had those yet and some organic beets and some collard greens and I haven't tried collard greens juiced but um, I like collard greens in a salad so we'll see how that goes or as a wrap and some grapes and then if you're wondering what this is it's uh, just um, couscous for the rest of the family <laughs> they were on sale and I got two bags of lemons oh and a box of organic baby spinach oh and some ginger I'm gonna try to juice some ginger maybe with carrots and maybe something else, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'm just about to make my um, dinner smoothie now. <laughs> the reality of having a family and still having to cook while mm. juicing. I made the kids some uh, organic hemp seed. It's organic hemp seeds, water, um, a little bit of vega, chocolate powder and what else is in here two bananas I put in for them for sweetener so like I made them like a milkshake a protein shake right oh they like it you like it yeah delicioso 